Much of what happens at airports tends to feel vaguely illegal, if not explicitly so. After all, where else in the world can TSA agents grope you with abandon, baggage handlers receive unrestricted access to your luggage, or stores charge you prices so high there's a good chance you'll come down with altitude sickness? But on top of the over-the-top fees, underhanded luggage handlers, and handsy TSA agents, there's yet another far less obvious threat you have to worry about at airports – the USB ports. It turns out that the seemingly harmless activity of charging your smartphone at a public kiosk can leave you vulnerable to cybercrime. So what's the problem? In a couple of words, juice jacking. Speak English, Doc. We ain't scientists. Now, juice jacking may sound like a particularly seductive way to squeeze an orange, but really it's a whole different kind of naughty. How to Geek explains that because your smartphones use the same USB cable for charging and transmitting data, hackers can access information on your phone or upload malware via the USB port while you're charging your device. Hence, they're hijacking your phone as it replenishes its energy or juice. And unfortunately, juice jacking isn't all that difficult or time-consuming for hackers to do. Speaking at a Black Hat security conference in 2016, researchers Billy Lau, Yongjin Zhang, and Chang Yo Song described, We demonstrate how an iOS device can be compromised within one minute of being plugged into a malicious charger. We show how an attacker can hide their software in the same way Apple hides its own built-in applications. These three researchers had previously built a juice jacking device out of a small computer known as a Beagle Board, which can be purchased for as little as $45 showing just how easily a sufficiently shrewd hacker could give themselves the means to get inside your phone. Alarmingly, a beagle board is just about small enough to fit right inside a USB hub or charging dock. To make matters worse, even after you've unplugged your device from the compromised cable, the kiosk you just used to recharge your iPhone can retain a Wi-Fi connection with your disconnected iOS device. That means that once a hacker has gotten a foot in the door, they could potentially open the electronic floodgates. How to Geek calls juice jacking a largely theoretical threat with a very low probability of occurring at an airport kiosk you might use. But the vice president of X-Force Threat Intelligence at IBM Security, Caleb Barlow, has warned that plugging into a public USB port is kind of like finding a toothbrush on the side of the road and deciding to stick it in your mouth. You have no idea where that thing has been. To protect your phone from being broken into by malicious airside parties, Barlow recommends investing in a device called a Juice Jack Defender, which is kind of a protective dongle you put in front of your charging cord. Similarly, Harvard University's Bruce Schneier suggests using the so-called USB condom when charging your phone at airport kiosks. Alternatively, you could pack a portable battery or personal charger and avoid using the charging kiosk altogether. In case you take your chances with an airport kiosk and want to use protection, Krebs on Security reviewed the Juice Jack Defender and the USB Condom, both of which are designed to thwart would-be juice jackers. Describing the devices as prophylactics, Krebs notes that both are equipped with male and female USB adapters at either end and are functionally indistinguishable, despite slight differences in size, shape, and texture. But that's not to say they're totally identical. According to Krebs, the Juice Jack Defender is a little smaller than the USB Condom, but what it lacks in size, it makes up for in durability. Meanwhile, however, the USB condom seemed a bit more likely to stop working altogether. So while these two devices do have a few minor differences, they seem to be mostly negligible, and each should prove effective in ensuring that your phone won't come down with a nasty virus next time you're hanging out at the airport. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more grunge videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one!